let's create today the Gutenberg block that's going to use the ACF repeater and we are going to use the accordion example. So if we scroll down, we can find this example and you can see that uh, have animated collapsing and expanding. And let's go to the ACF blocks, accordion, let's find some icon. This one is good. Close this one. Add it to the widgets, publish, and let's copy the structure. So let's copy this. Perfect. Let's copy the style. And let's copy the script. And you can see that uh, we updated the editor. So now when you paste the script, it's going to automatically format it for you. Let's now go back to the editor. Uh, reload. So we fetch the latest accordion. And let's preview it. And you can see right away that something is falling apart. And that's probably, let's see what's happening here. So you can see that there is some additional styling and that's coming from the team. So we can uh, fix that by just uh, wrapping everything with one div. So I just do it like this. Div. Perfect. Let's preview it again. And everything is now working perfectly. Let's close all the tabs that we don't need. We don't need this anymore because the static is working. So let's just close. And if we click on the preview and let's make it even more so we have more space, we have the home. And we also have the fields. So what you can do, you can uh, get directly to the fields. Otherwise you need to go it like this and then go to the fields. But this is much more convenient. And we are going to add block accordion, save changes. Here uh, we need a repeater. We will add the name accordion and inside let's check we have the title and we have the body so this is going to be a title subfield because the accordion is the field and then we have a body perfect and scroll down and assign it to the block and we need to assign it to the block accordion Let's save changes. Now let's open the ACF Pro documentation. Search for the repeater. And let's copy the loop. Let's close this and also I want to point that this will only the load the data but will not publish the data so what we need to copy is this one let's clean it up a little so we can remove this one let's open the PHP here again and we need to duplicate it. So what we need to tell to the code is 
repeater field name if you have the accordion if you have the rows let's populate it with title and body so what we need to do here is we actually need to do it like this and here we need to add a div or actually we can just wrap it with the div here and we can close the div here and this is going to be perfect let's copy this one let's replace it let's replace this one and we can get maybe the rest let's make it a little readable save and let's reload here This one was probably not saved, so I will just add it again. And you can see that we have right away here, but it's much easier to edit here. So let's just title and let's edit a couple. And we don't need inspect anymore. So let's edit title, 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 one, two, three. Body, body, body. One, two, three. And let's update. And if we press the preview, that's it. Uh, there is one extra that we can delete. Yes, we are sure. And let's preview. And this is how you easily reconstruct the entire accordion that have dynamic data. You can add it as much as you want. You can delete it. Also, you can add uh, extra fields inside as you need, but uh, hopefully you can see how easily you can just uh, paste the entire HTML and uh, CSS and uh, JavaScript, and you can just uh, add dynamic fields uh, on the way as you need it. Thank you for watching and bye.